I'm out here at Blooming Junction. I'm with Ron. Ron, our gardens are in full bloom and coming into great, but there's a lot of color that's still left to be had in our garden. Oh, absolutely. And then you have a great selection here. You know, some of our shrubs and things may have bloomed out, but what do we have today that you're... you're well, um, first of all, we have, of course, uh, petunias, and petunias have come such a long way. Um, every year there are new varieties. Um, these are some cool ones. This is a, a new one here. Um, this is called Ray Pistachio Cream. Real interesting color. Something that's very different there. Um, and then we have other things that um, people are probably familiar with, like the Million Bells, um, which is a nice spreader, a trailer. Uh, the Bacopa does the same thing. Um, I tend to like that a little bit better than a trailing Lobelia. It seems like it um, blooms a lot longer. Um, we have Nemesia here in this bright orange color, beautiful. We also have your, your zonal geraniums here. Um, this is a wonderful plant, you know, just with a little deadheading. Um, it's going to keep blooming all season long. Um, for sun, we have sun patience. Um, a lot of people want to plant in patience, uh, but they have a sunny yard. This is a good way to go. As is some of the salvias, the annual salvias here. Um, Wendy's Wish is a very popular one, especially if you want to get some height. This gets a couple feet tall. Um, here we have another salvia. Um, our bonfire begonia is great for uh, shade, uh, park shade. Um, this thing will get quite large in one season. Um, and then of course lantana. Um, this is a great one. Attracts uh, bees and butterflies. Um, it has a rather pungent leaf that I really like. Um, and brilliant colors, comes in many different colors. And this one here, um, the Plotus, I believe is how it's pronounced, uh, is a new one for me, but it's very interesting. Um, it just reminds me yeah, of very Australia different for some reason. And then these are all annuals. Right. And so what are some of the benefits of having annuals planted in our, in our yard? Well, you know, a lot of people will do, uh, you know, nice borders in their yard, um, but they may have some that are out of color. You could pop an annual in there, one or two. Uh, you don't have to do a mass planting with these, and it gives you a big impact, um, you know, spot of color where you, you might need it. Right, because, you know, a lot of our perennials seems like, you know, they'll come and have a definite, a bloom plant, you know, six to eight weeks right, or whatever, right. or some of our shrubs that may have, already have bloomed out right but annuals you know they give us that pop of color right? right and especially you know for freshening up pots and things like that um, and hanging baskets of right. course and then you know there there are some care that goes along along with with annuals you have so much blooms that come out of them right. what do we need to know as far as care for well annuals? you know for the petunias um, there are a lot of self-cleaning petunias meaning that they they drop their blossom and they don't need deadheading um, like this pink petunia here um, and others, they do need to be deadheaded, you know, and it's, you know, a 30 second process to just go around and just snap off the little dead, uh, dead heads. Um, you want to keep um, an eye out for any um, insects, especially with petunia, okay. uh, petunia budworm, that's a, a common problem. And then, you know, for, for hanging baskets, you know, how do you keep those going, looking like that all, all summer long? Well, we get that question quite often. Um, the main thing is water, uh, you know, a lot of times uh, hanging baskets may need water daily depending on the heat. Usually when you're, you're putting up a hanging basket, it's close to your home so you're getting that reflective heat. It might require a little bit more water than something else you have in your, your yard. Um, fertilizer is important. If you're using a liquid fertilizer, I, I recommend it like every fourth watering. Or you could use a granular like an Osmocote or something like that. And again, you know, a little deadheading maintenance and check for bugs and you'll be good to go. Yeah. You know, in these annuals, it looks like, you know, the range of colors for what you can do is, is pretty staggering. Yeah, it's unlimited. So, you know, if you're, for more information, you can come out to Blooming Junction. They have a rainbow of colors of, of annuals. You know, you still have a great selection of perennials and shrubs too. But add some annuals to your yard. You know, get that color going all summer long into the fall. So. Ron, it's always great to be out here. You know, the coloring is just staggering and it's just, you know, feels like spring and summer out here. Thank so you. Thank you.